Chicho. You guys, they put the music on blast, guys, on 7980, but they just lowered it for us over here. Guys, welcome to Palm Beach. We're at Pardo. All right, so you know there's a rivalry going on. We have the two, what I, you know, on my channel, they already know the salespeople that I've done multiple videos with us. And I have two MVPs that are battling right now. And one of them is right behind me. So we're gonna go ahead and you guys need a vote for our man, Forrest. Alfred. Let's go, Forrest. Let's right. do it. Okay, hold on. We what have we a battle. For? We have a battle. We do have a little battle. We have a battle. I don't know. You've spoken, Alfred. You said you said I was the greatest. Everybody heard it on Le the chit show. Listen, okay, but but we gotta let the people decide, and they're gonna decide in the comment section. Please do. We're Please. At, we're at Pardo Forest. Introduce yourself and let us know what boat we're on. Howdy, everybody. My name is Forrest Anderson, also known as Your Yacht Guy. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Your Yacht Guy. Uh, and check out many of the walkthroughs I have done with this amazing guy standing behind the camera, six foot seven, Jack. Let's go! The I grew two inches, guys, and lost my voice because I party like a rock star. He, he is a rock star. That's why he parties like it. We are standing on the hydraulic swim platform of a Pardo 52 GT. GT is Grand Touring. Um, Pardo has been around building sailboats, racing sailboats, under the Cantiere del Pardo name in Forli, Italy, since 1973. So over 50 years of boat building heritage, which is actually where our uh, very poor, I mean, uh, vertical bow comes from. Very unique, but not very new. Been around for 50 years. The heritage and the boat building experience these guys have gained in 50 years is just really second to none. They know how to use every inch of space. It's very apparent that these guys were sailboat manufacturers once upon a time. I love this. Let me tell you, uh, Forrest, beautiful. I love this, love this, love this. I mean, Ready? all of these will stop. So just in case I had a little too much to eat, I can lay back, let that digest. Or if we're at dinner, we have very nice uh, real seats there. Nice Look Pardo branding everywhere. To detail, Alfred. Time out. Can this table come down and become a sunbirth or a bed or a sun? Obviously, you would want to pull this in if you want to get the sun. But yes, this will drop down. Push a button. That will go in. This will go down. And then you have two simple cushions. Drops right on top of this and lay out and get the sun. Why not, right? Vitamin D, baby. We need a little bit of vitamin D in Miami. It is the best vitamin out there by far. So back here, don't have to go very far to get your stuff. Um, fantastic drink coolers. You can turn these down to be freezers if you wanted to. Um, cook some hot dogs or hamburgers up back here. You also do have an ice maker uh, there. Tons of storage for lines, uh, dock lines, or whatever you may need. Let's go towards the bow because we want to go inside. You can put that up here. Yes, sir. Don't know how that game on clip. Sorry, uh, guys. No, it's all right, guys. So we're going. All right. So talk to me about this because this these are things that people are going to notice. Well, I want you to a lot of people don't even see them right away because Pardo does such a good job of keeping this boat elegant. But look, I can lean all the way out. These are very, Do that again. Very, I want them to see that. Very, very beefy. I can lean all the way out. Obviously, I don't have a ton of weight behind me, but. I mean, these things go. are very, very strong. And again, the idea is safety all the way around. Pardo does a fantastic job. Very, very tall, above my knees, and very wide gunnels. So you have not only tall and safe gunnels, but they're nice and thick and give you that beefy feel. Up here, um, you do have carbon fiber stanchions that will drop in and uh, give you kind of a bow rail that you're used to seeing. But talk about a bow. What do you guys think about all this room for activities? Wait, wait for it. They're gonna get some of it right now. What do you guys think, guys? How do you how do you like it up here? Could you see yourself I, laying out? I could see me inside in the AC seeing the ladies laying lounging. out here? Yeah. Why? Alfred, your dream is your reality on board a party. My wife does not watch my channel and we <laughs> are gonna show what happens on a portal one day? One day. One day. One day. I won't be alive. But, all right. Let's <laughs> I don't go know there. if my girlfriend right, would no, appreciate guys, that either. Hey, it'll never happen. But 
We can do a sea trial because... We can absolutely do a sea trial. The wonderful guys at Pardo Miami are gonna yes. hook you up with something special. I'm not gonna blow the secret yet, but stay tuned to the Chit Show and watch for a very special. So tell me about this right here because this is one of those signature looks that Pardo has. It does. Uh, and this is what would be called an inverted or an inverse uh, windshield. So it kind of goes the opposite way of what you're used to. However, that does a few things. Not only does it provide one heck of a styling point and one of those things that really stands out and grabs your attention on the water, it also really reduces glare and gives you a ton of visibility. Notice how that is all one single pane. Even though it's curved and kind of at that slant, it's a single pane of glass. Kudos to uh, Pardo for figuring that out. You also have a massive sunroof. I'll show you guys inside, um, but a massive sunroof up so here. So this little Lopo light is about six, seven hundred bucks. Like, it's you don't realize, but again, the little stuff, the attention to detail, just that's elevates wild. your experience. Guys, that is the top of the line lights. Look at this, just elegance all the way around, elegance. The one thing I like pointing out that you guys can't really do in a video is just how beefy. Did you hear that? I mean, these things are beefy, well-made boats. Even down to the cleat. Just, what do you think, Alfred? That's pretty beefy, huh? I think it's... it's pretty solid. I think you could pull it off of a beach like the Viking video that I did on... Listen. The, on the 92? Yes. Hooks, uh, hook a tow line up to that thing? I just think, yank it I off the beach? Yeah, you just hang it because... Let's hope you don't go up on the beach on this. But, but if you do... If you do... There you go. Sea tow, we got a spot for you. There you go. And you probably got one on port starboard and the bow. Let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely. All right. Um, so this is what's going to make a lot of people excited. Very much so. That's why we saved it. We did the outside first to kind of keep you guys watching. Thank you for making it this far. Um, as we walk in, that door slides, and then this window actually pops up and really opens this thing. So this will pop up. Let me show you, Alfred, just for you guys on the chit show here. Open this thing all the way up for you. Look at that. So you just brought the outside in. I did. And then if we were to open this, I would. there would be nothing separating us between nature and uh what's inside so you just change everything now i still feel Complete. that nice cold ac that's going on in here right now you do so while you say that i'm going to close this down so we can trap some of that nice cool ac in here and we're gonna trap also that sound we, out of here we are gonna trap that sound out of here indeed so just Very like that with basically two things you change the look and feel now close this back up because i want them to see that now, the ambiance is going to change right now. Listen to how quiet it is in here, too. I mean, we're not whispering, and there's no echoes. There's none of that, like, cheap feel by any means. Very solid, good-feeling boat in here. And again, like Alfred just said, very much can change the ambiance. So let me know a little bit about the helm here. What, what, what would somebody that's interested in a part of, what should they expect? Absolutely. So this is the upgraded Volvos on this. Um, this is the D8 800s, standard is 700s. Um, out with the 800s, you're going to cruise roughly uh, 25 knots or so, um, topping out in the mid 30s. Uh, not burning very much fuel at all. You have four, 528 total gallon capacity on this and you're roughly 40 gallons an hour um, at just under 30 knots. So very, very efficient. Open it one more time again. And this yeah. time I'm gonna open it just so you can see the other side, you have a bug screen up here. So not only do you have this shade, you also have a bug screen. And then to open it all the way up, separate these, you push a button and that sunroof slides back. Incredible. Also very kind of easy to uh, skip over. You do have both port and starboard those windows open as well. So again, really could open this up and bring nature inside. Good bow visibility here as well. You see the bow, perfect. The way these pods work, they don't necessarily create a dig. If you think about it, the props are facing forward. So it almost creates a lift on your stern, which shoves the bow down. Mm -hmm. And again, with this very sharp bow, 360 degree visibility very very easy so i've never seen a pardo with a bow rail or anything like that do people ever ask about that they do and uh i think i pointed that out in before however there's carbon fiber uh kind of uh stanchions that drop in with a uh 
wind safety rig, okay if you will okay awesome so so tell me about the table and all this is fixed right here it is fixed however i do have a little hidden secret surprise for you uh oh don't tell me there's something somewhere there is something somewhere oh Albert. no so underneath here would typically be a crew quarter however what in the united states market rarely do we need a captain uh or crew on a 52 foot boat so what we did is we made this a utility room you have a washer and a dryer down there hanging locker a big uh or a safe room or a safe room there you absolutely. go absolutely i wouldn't have i wouldn't have thought that that was there guys it comment is below easily missed so and there's even more storage in there as well guys what would you make that into down there guys uh yeah comment below we want to know that's that's pretty wild guys look at this we are on the last day of the palm beach boat show and we are doing a walkthrough for you in the rain look at that putting in the hours making sure we work for you well that's the beauty of a boat like this look look how they're all running from little old rain and we're here having a great time we are inside enjoying don't don't forget that they have a compass up here too let them know that too look at that look at how elegant that is just kind of hanging from the ceiling like that so down here very uh important to point this out although it is a galley down option there is multiple layouts the benefit to this galley down is there's no ceiling here so i don't feel like i'm a part of are missing any part of the conversation that's happening up here in the salon. Even if I'm preparing hors d'oeuvres or whatever to serve up there, you are very much still a part. As I mentioned, you do have different layouts. So if you wanted, you could do a galley up version and make that go behind the uh, helm seat up there. This would then become either a salon style area with a uh, TV on the wall, or you could make it a third stateroom and have bunks. You're almost my size. How tall are you? A 6'3". All right, so I'm 6'5". So yeah, you're, you're just, a little bit taller. You're a little taller. I'm a little taller. But yeah. So, I got so, so I'm, my hair is literally touching the top. I'm a little bit more ripped than you, but I, it's fine. It's, I, I, one day I'll get the muscles I've been like working Albert. hard. I've been working hard first. Okay, so I really like this right here that you, you feel like you're not out of the loop with this area. By any means. Look at this really quick, Alfred. Look at how clean of a battery panel that is. AC and DC panel there. Everything you can ever need. Just literally steps away from uh, the helm seat there. So captain could come on or you could come on if you're an owner operator. Turn on your uh, main battery switches here and start the start the enjoyment. What do we got going on in here? So this is a two stateroom on layout as I mentioned. That is your guest stateroom um with twin bunks in there you do have a small hanging locker as well and ensuite access to the day head so day you have head. double doors here yep jack and jill style doors to the day head and that does have a full stand-up shower very nice in a 52 foot boat to have a day head with a full stand-up shower this is very spacious very and again once again well, i'm not uh, it's certainly not whispering as you can tell and we're not creating huge loud echo nice it's real pouring outside what are you talking about there we don't even hear anything no I, again just fit and finish and quality that uh goes to these partos they, they do a very so you very it's not gonna job. wake you up like you're in a no. hurricane you're like okay i'm absolutely <laughs> somebody's not gonna, gonna have to send up. you a message hey hey you're, time to wake up you're in the middle of a storm hopefully your alarm is set for the right time on that uh that oh, day okay things just got a lot bigger Things got a lot bigger, and this is your owner's suite. This is where luxury happens. I mean, you come inside here, and you can almost forget about any stress or worries of the day. Just relax and go to your room. Over here, across from your bed, push a button, and a TV's gonna drop down out of your ceiling. I mean, you talk about nice and luxurious. TV coming out of a ceiling, you got me pretty excited. Yeah, That's for sure. Listen, uh, nice Netflix night. Of course, especially with the rain. Talk yeah. about a, a good night to Netflix and chill. So this this GT model, what does the GT stand for? GT is Grand Touring. So the okay. idea is you're going to be able to go away. Pardo is very much based in the day boat world. Okay. Um, and they do a good job of kind of including you if you don't necessarily want to be a part of that day boat okay. world. There you go. Wow. Hanging hey. locker there. Um, you have some drawers under this bed. 
So this bed will, will, will lift? Oh, um, no, not necessarily. You do have some drawers, and I want to say it does not lift because this is probably where you access the um, either one of the water tanks or black water tanks, um, or it could be an AC chiller down. Now, what's the biggest portal that portal makes? So, the biggest one that they make is 75 feet. So we haven't seen hole, that one over there. In hole number one um, is going to debut in the European market in the matter of months. At, and what, and what show? Con? I would say it would be at cons, yes. All right, yep. so I'm going to be there. The, you will have one of the first look, Chicho. Make, viewers, make guys, it happen. We will uh, do what we can to make you guys one of the first YouTube uh, channels on YouTube to get on the 75. All right, nice uh, spacious head here as well. So the biggest one we have here at the show is the 60, the Endurance 60, which is the next size up from this 52. What would you say the biggest differences are between the 52 and the 60, other than size? Um, other than size, that is what's called the Endurance model. So you actually gain a flybridge. This okay. GT is what I would call or consider an express style cruiser. Um, so very sleek, very sexy looking. Um, you don't have the flybridge. They tried to kind of combine those. I like two. this though. Like this is like, like go to Palm Beach, go to Fort Lauderdale. Well, go to the Hamptons, go to Montauk, uh, go to the Cape. San Juan, uh, all anywhere, in the Pacific Bahamas, Northwest, yes. Take it out in California. Wow. Uh, this boat really does a good job of capturing everybody that is around. Don't think about a 52 GT if you don't want your picture taken because that is not going to happen. Okay, let's talk about specs and, and things like what powers it, fuel capacity, things like that. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, sir. Um, Volvo IPS D8s, 800s, standard is 700s. Um, with the D8 800s uh, or either model, you have uh, 528 gallons of diesel. Okay. Um, you have a Kohler generator in there, quick gyro stabilizer. Um, at the 800s, I've run the 800s, I have not run the 700s, so I don't have specs on that, but the 800s, you're going to cruise north of 25 knots, um, burning roughly 35 gallons an hour or so. Um, if you bump that up to about 30 knots, you're roughly 40 gallons an hour or so. So more than a 10 hour run time uh, with 528 gallons. By the time you're done with 10 hours, you want to get rid of whoever's on board with you anyway. So it's, it's a little wet outside. Is it a problem or would it be difficult to see those engines? Not at all. Nope. Let's go we see. Are, we, we are protected. We got some people that are running from the rain, guys. Let's Over here. Stick our head down into the engine room. <laughs> all right. Perfect Pardon us, guys. All right. How big is this? You guys are running from the rain. Let's go. All right. Alfred, look oh, at my, that my. engine room. Oh. More than enough. And again, guys, I'm not sure. I can stand up down hold there. Hold right here, yeah. Don't hold it up there. Just hold it there and pass it to me right there. Hold on a second, guys. I got to get in here. I want them to see this. It's down into the hole, guys. Let's go. I got you guys. Welcome you want aboard. To talk about walkthrough. Who else is climbing in engine rooms? All right, you guys? hold on Other a second. Alfred, the man. Let me get in here. Here it is, guys. I'm gonna come down with you. Now, so again, more than enough room down here. This ladder will fold up, and it's designed to lock into a spot here. Yeah. Uh, which gives you very, very easy access to your quick gyro stabilizer up there, as well as your polar generator I mentioned. Top of your pods, again, 800 IBSs back there. So, I mean... Look at how clean it is. It's perfect. And, and then you have all your panels there, accessible. Everything is right there, easy. All your fuses are back there, very, very well labeled, both in Italian and English. So. Very, very nice. Soundproofing, you don't think about silly stuff like this, but it really is an attention to detail, like going through multiple soundproofing trial and error methods. We have finally found one that cancels out almost all of the noise. When this is running, you are super silent inside that salon. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show that while he goes up. And uh, what's this big tank here? Is this your fuel tank? It is, you have uh, two fuel tanks, uh, 528. 
and you can right. easily measure the amount of fuel just by looking at that. You do have sight tubes in there yeah. to give yourself a real manual style gauge. Here's your stabilizer and your generator. Here you go. Wow. Um, you know, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close uh, forest. I tried to get a zoom in on your chicho on the back of your shirt. How do I get one of those shirts, Alfred? You're looking Lux fly. Luxuryribtenders.com. I have them on my site. It's gonna be close between you and Daniel you work the camera he worked uh, the camera I you know what I will I'm give gonna, Daniel credit he has a much better hat than I do I don't have a hat today but, but you're the guy of glasses remember I, we gotta oh. go yes so okay so you have the glasses he's got the hat I gotta do this for you guys yes. at least once if you guys have been watching Alfred for a while you know where that reference is from. Yes, it was like the most commented video it was. we've ever done. I, I, they tore me up, Alfred. You guys are a little bit harsh on me, but I like the uh, the attention. Okay, say somebody's ready to pull the trigger, they want to reach out to you, how would they get in contact with you? How, how could they get in contact with Pardo? What's the story? The easiest way, and it kind of depends on where you're going to enjoy the boat. We want your ownership experience to really uh, be maximized. So depending on where you're going to use the boat, that's who you would get in touch with you can start at pardoyachts.com however if you know you want to deal with me just feel free to get me on instagram at your yacht guy or shoot me an email f anderson at si yachts.com guys thank you very much for tuning in to the chit show alfred you it's gonna, are it, it's, the man. it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting guys it's gonna be interesting let me know guys i'm pulling for you hey, i better be the winner here i listen i can't be listen I've known both of you guys for a long, long time. Both of you have given me love a long, long time. You Always. both have done a fantastic job. I'm not gonna decide. I'm gonna let them decide in the comment section. Absolutely, it's up to you guys. But we all know who the real winner is here. This guy is the best, Alfred. There you go, I won, that's he it won. guys, he I won. won. I won. won. Alfred Montenegro, Palm Beach Boat Show. I'm the winner, I'm always the winner.